Number 62 on our house inspection checklist is referring to your doors. Do all of them open and close without any effort. So I'm not talking about closing by themselves, of course, or opening by themselves, but you don't want them rubbing. I don't know how many times I've seen somebody, they go up to the door and they have to push it and wiggle it and to shut it. A lot of times these problems can be fixed. So it might take a little ingenuity, but fix them so that you're not fighting this stuff in the future. Um, doors will sag too. So if you have a door that um, is, you know, it's rubbing at the top or yeah, it wouldn't be rubbing at the bottom if it was sagging. Or, well, I take that back, it would be rubbing on the threshold. If you have any problems like that, the door might actually be coming apart and you're, and you're going to need another door. So think about that. If doors aren't closing, you're going to be putting a lot more effort into closing them and opening them. And this is only going to add frustration to everyone who lives in the house. And there will be a time if you can't open them um, or they're becoming more difficult that you won't be able to open them at all. Or you're going to, or you're going to be damaging the door jams and the thresholds, possibly even the flooring, depending upon how um, out of hand these problems get. So doors that are giving you problems, fix them. And again, this might not be a high priority, but um, they should be fixed. Something else I'd like to point out about doors. If you're having problems with your building foundation, um, this could also create uh, problems for your doors. So one time I worked on a house that we had to raise the foundation on. We just actually lifted the house up and poured a new foundation on. The door was off so much that it needed to be replaced. It was off. Um, we needed to raise that part of the house four inches. And when we did, the living room was at an angle. So when we flattened everything out, the door looked like something from a horror movie. Didn't even work anymore. So um, building foundation problems can also add to um, problems with your doors. If you own a house, you should inspect it regularly. But how can you inspect a home if you don't know what to look for? If you're not looking for a complicated checklist or something that wasn't written in a language that you can't understand anyway, do yourself a favor and visit this website today. The most valuable investment you have must be protected and inspected.